Hi, you might have seen my recent tip about eraser effects in Illustrator. And if you haven't, I'm going to link it in the comments of this video. There's another tool that works quite similar to the eraser tool, and that is the blob brush. And we can use the same thing with the blob brush that we can use with the eraser tool. So let's first take a look at the blob brush, which is here. And then maybe you have seen in the graphic styles that there is a library with additives for the blob brush. And in there you find things like the blur on it. So when you draw a line, then it gets blurred. But that is something different because then Illustrator applies the effect to the shape that you have drawn. But we want something else. So we want the effects applied to it and get some nice rough strokes. So what do we do then? So in these graphic styles, there actually already is one of them. So the last one, this one called rough, and you see it's selected now, and then it has these two effects in the appearance panel. And then when you draw something, then you see it gets roughened slightly, so just slightly. We want some more, so let's use that. And I'm going to change to the outline view, and you see this actually doesn't have the effect applied, but it has been drawn like that. So let's go back and let's also go into GPU preview again. And I'm going to delete this. We want to set up our own. So for this, the effects in Distort and Transform work. And of course, you also have to make sure that in the appearance panel, this option is turned off. So let's just go to the tool and then let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform and let's have some zigzag. You need to set this up the way you need it and then let's go to OK. It's in the Appearance panel and when you now draw something, then you get this, which is quite nice. So when you draw it like that, you get these nice shapes and they are already in zigzag. And this also works with Rothen. So let's get rid of this here and let's go to Distort and Transform and set this to Rothen. And then again, you can draw something and get these nice rough lines. So just experiment with this and maybe you can use that.